Hello everyone, accept greetings from Serpent Consulting Services Private Limited. Here this time around we are going to contribute a very nice, very nice module, a very nice uh, profile uh, with a nice module called Field Service Management. This is, uh, you know, service is a, a very good expression for the, for the self-expression of the society. And you know, it's very important for any service company to handle everything in an automated way for their customers to serve. So here, uh, with, with that idea coming into mind, Serpent CS has planned out a very nice module as a feature, as a whole application, which will give you an option to list out all your services into a mobile application. And this particular module can be operated by three kind of roles. The first role is a customer. A customer can request services to you when you are a service provider. They can also use the system using a mobile application. They can even provide, you can use a portal service of Udo and uh, put up the service request into your uh, system. Second is operator. When uh, the customer is handling a call, giving a call to you and your operator is taking the call and get the request, he can configure the same same service request into, into the system as well. Uh, that's FSM. The third, third option of using it, uh, it's the role of serviceman. The way uh, Ola cabs and Uber cabs are you having taxi drivers using the application, same way servicemen can also access the whole system by an application by a mobile application for the same we have uh, planned out two ways this is uh, this can the customer can operate it uh, by the either the portal way or the mobile application way the operator and servicemen uh, the operator can handle again by the uh, mobile application way and the and the particular application way servicemen of course can do the same but more he will be using service record uh, by the mobile application because there are location tracker and services which are very useful for them to you know handle the information of the customer picking of the pictures of the service and so on so going forward let's uh, just go to the mobile application how the mobile application works at the same time you will see parallelly how the field service uh, management is there just giving you an idea about the features as you can see uh, with this you can manage the various jobs of the servicemen you can have automatic assignment of the uh, jobs for example the nearest servicemen to the area based on the area and the zone of the particular service and the availability of the servicemen you can automatically assign a particular job to a serviceman second is configure services whatever services you have configured into your particular uh, fsm record system all those services will be available into the mobile application into a separate view you can always create invoices you can you can just uh, send invoices to your customer by email by by a whatsapp by whatever medium when when you are already using an android application you can have an express service option in many service criteria there are options that someone wants a service very quickly so that some special rates can always be provided per hour or per day or so on so that's for that there is a specific uh, service rate given you can always have a localization you can configure that on which zone, which state, which city, which area the services are supposed to be provided. Based on that, the availability of a serviceman can be assured. So that's again a possibility within our FSM uh, solution. Of course, when uh, we have Udo, you have a very nice uh, analysis system, reporting system. So you can consider easily to see your uh, reports, your reporting, your BI view, your pivot charting, that what are the best areas you are serving to the customers and what are the areas your customers are giving you a good, very good feedback about and you can have the analysis and so on. So let's simply go to the services and let's configure the various services we have. This is a dashboard for, for admin. This is actually a backend system. So admin or, or the particular serviceman can take a look. What are my jobs? What are the total jobs? What are the unassigned jobs? Rejected invoicing parts and so on. So let's look at the services. At the same time, we will, we will go through the uh, mobile application as well. I am handing over the mobile application. Here we have a FSM, this field service management. I am clicking on it. When I click on it, it is giving us an access. Whether whether we want to sign up as a new user, so you can choose the, whether the serviceman is getting logged in or whether the particular uh, service, the customer is getting logged in. So I will go to the particular home. I will go to sign in first. I will connect to the server. 0 0.5 and that's my server. I am going to log in. First, let me log in as a customer just to give you an overview. So I'm going to log in as a customer as you can see. When I'm logging as a customer, I will be able to see. Oh, let me check. I will log in. Try again. Okay, I'm connected. That's perfect. Let me log in. As, as soon as I'm logged in, I will be able to see what are the, I'm as a customer. So I will be able to see what are the service criteria are there. 
what are the various services that the serpent company provide so i can use the service and i can log in a request whenever i am logged in i will be able to see all my dashboard that is the current list of services you see my request all my requests which are given in the past and i can even see the status of each request whether something is done or something is in the progress something is a new request something is cancelled and so on so i can easily do the same let let's take a look for example for uh, the housekeeping services which is given by me in the past to them so i can see what is a service or i can even see with the service i have given to the particular company what are the time sheets has it been entered i mean what are the time entered by the serviceman for my service what are the job lines means what are the particular items i have bought if any with with my service let's say if i am doing the housekeeping i might need to buy uh, you know washer or so on if i am going for the ser uh, service uh, call of uh, a mobile i might need to buy a cover or a screen or so on so that job line will be product lines for me it will become a customer invoice when i it will be used in the customer invoice when i am going to create invoice as a as a customer so when there is a map so it will also guide my salesman that where i am located so based on the with the location configuration here it is a live record given uh, to the customer that hey you could be at whatever location and it will take you 29 kilometers and 44 minutes to reach my location and there's a map given to you so that's this is this is the application i'm using as a customer so uh, that's it let me go back to the various service areas that's i wish to register a service request for uh, vehicle repair here i have an i have an option that if i am going to repair from the current location or if i am this creating this request as a third party and, and giving another location so when i let's say let's go for example for the current location the current location will automatically be identified based on the parameters uh, of course gps location i have to keep the gps location on let's say i have to uh, keep a request there it's a car breakdown it's a car breakdown <coughs> description sudden tire burst and my number is this so as soon as i i am also able to create a specific picture of of my particular tire let's say i am trying to create a picture and let's see if i clicking on the camera it will give me an option whether you want to take take a photo you want to choose some library let's try to choose from a library of my system if if i can send a specific uh, let's say let's skip it uh, demo picture let's say for example this particular phone i am picturing and and uh, i have no car in the picture well, let's say let's let's consider my particular picture for the display okay it's updated so i will just submit a request whenever I, as a customer i am submitting a request i will go into the fsm application and if there is automatic assignment my job will be assigned to a specific serviceman now into the back end i am checking and looking at the the services my services would be created and let's take a look the job number automatically is there <coughs> so as you can see in the screen this new job is created saying that the job number is this and uh, the push notification will tell me that who is assigned to the particular uh, who is who is the assigned uh, person for me this so is for vehicle repair i can uh, the in the back end the operator can choose who is the best person here based on the serviceman there are skills which are given uh, based on the skills the assigned person will come let's say if i am choosing a, the different service for uh, example here the whoever are the servicemen assigned to this skill will appear here in the domain filter so i can i can see my location is uh, logged out my hours is there my description is logged out my time sheet can be uh, taken care of as well and also i can see uh, the attachment can be found here as well so every track of the service can also be tracked so my request from this mobile application has been logged already and i can look at the particular section so i can even see if there are any suggested salesmen they can suggest me for the uh, salesman i can notify the customer i can send an email as in background application user i can send an email to the customer i can even create the invoice if there are any specific uh, yeah there is no employee assigned so that's why the the turn is there so let me just try to assign a specific uh, <coughs> service repair criteria let's go to service i can configure that for this service what are the uh, possible assignees we can choose let's go to the vehicle repair i can see the settings for the vehicle repair i can see these are the options these are the customers these are the icons we can, we can choose there are the working time it's possible that some electronic repairs some ac repair can be only in the in the day time while the vehicle, vehicle repairs and some uh, uh, housekeeping can al always be 24 by 7 so you can always choose a time scheduling for the same 
and this is the sequence that will let you choose the sequence of the service display let's say if i change the sequence to be one the vehicle repair will appear on the top on my mobile application so i will first i will go to the employees list of my employees and i will choose a particular uh, <coughs> let's say i will choose a uh, end, end time oh there is oh yeah there is a relation i have to manage so i will better use uh, peter parker as in one okay again i have again uh, the relationship action so i will go to the specific old old record of my jobs where i can always have a uh, fixing yeah there's a guest house cleaning all, always there it's assigned to a specific serviceman and the uh, address is given as well let me choose a uh, create invoice option for two employees that's a concern so this always a criteria of course i can choose whoever is the person i am uh, going to pick for the whatever services let me for example let me change the service for a while and see if the right person is assigned <coughs> for me let's save it i'm creating the invoice here when the invoice is created i will be able to see whatever is the, is the time spent and what is the service time of the employee so what happens if the, there is a specific uh, configuration of the time given if there is any time sheet assigned to the person this time sheet this number of time will be occupied into the invoice so let's say i am spending a time of uh, let's say uh, tasting time 2 hours assigned i'll go i should go for open invoice right now it's not there but if i cancel the invoice i i should be able to uh, find out the working solution let me go back it is not allowing me let me duplicate the record for a while so it will allow me whether the uh, with the entries yes let me try to sort it out okay so this is the time based entries so it will always look up <coughs> for the entries oh not again i should better create a new record for the same so let, let me take a look at the uh, this customer oh sorry for the cleaning i'll create a job that for example the job is created let's say test job and my request is for let's say for plumbing it's being assigned to uh, whatever user the customer is whoever and i can choose the area and so on let's say i am creating an entry of the admin it is spent time for fixing the stuff let's say i spent 4 hours i am saving the record and i when i am saving the record and just creating the invoice it will create the invoice with a specific time so 4 hours have been spent this is the this is the uh, uh, unit price specified in the uh, administrator so that is the salesman you always have a express price this and a basic price is given based on that you will always have the price uh, the invoices for you here you can always see in the customers <coughs> you can always see uh, what are the allocation of who are the users your customers for for our specification we have planned out each user will have a, a very specific uh, customer id or serviceman id and so on we have just tested out it uh, very well on the fsm you can always have the analysis of the jobs what are the jobs are going to give you or are the costing you can always download it you can always have a specific nice view you can always change that what are the criteria you want to see on the job analysis and so on so uh, and i will we can even see uh, the status of it let me go to the home you can see the status of our request let's say my request uh, given was let's say a house one on a vehicle repair part these are the status i can always see the job line if it is assigned let me take whatever the job uh, the job was give me a moment let's to look at the job i can assign from the background as well there's again a kind of a push notification uh, standard <coughs> this is the one i can assign let me choose the customer as j so you can see in the background it will happen for me so it should it should be able to uh, drop down and give me this plumbing test application i can see what are the time spent i can see the job line if there is any product bought it will be will be available over here there are the details of the task so this way out you can always use the field service management and it will give you a nice interface with the fact that you can always have uh, an option that to list all your services into mobile application and all these services into mobile application will always be listed out into the background backend as well as this and you can always take a look at what are the products you have you can take a look at the uh, best application options 
you can you can specify the localization based on that you can choose what are the areas you are providing services what are the zones you are providing services you can have the country group decided based on that you can have a skills when you when you look at when you go and uh, check the option of a specific customer uh, uh, sorry specific partner you will able to you will be able to find out that uh, what are the options right now it's not opening for some reason <coughs> but but when uh, you will see there will be a skills option so that let's say a customer uh, employee Antoin this em employee Antoin is a plumber as well as uh, the housekeeper so whenever you are using the service cho uh, choice of option on the housekeeping part this when this uh, particular service is assigned it will only be assigned to a specific option either either Antoin or or, or or Giles I mean those options who are in the plumbing option so this way out uh, the field service management is going to help you out in various ways this again this uh, this section is totally dynamic whatever services you assign on the FSM part all those configuration will be will be affected on the mobile application so overall this field service management we have made as a framework that can be helped to a technical serviceman uh, the the mobile serviceman the bill collectors the dispatcher guys the the people who are uh, the medical representatives as well of course and those who are let's say government uh, government supplier employees who are going to going to door to door the taxi men as well and so on so for all technical and uh, you know location based routing based services this fields fields service management is going to help you in a very good extent we have made this in, in Udu and our mobile application is there in Android so you would like to hear your feedback uh, and then we are going to push up the demo, demo live and we'll keep you keep everyone posted about it thank you very much for your time have a good day